Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn about else if statements or commands inside Excel VBA. Now, the power of else if commands is that they allow you to have multiple, you know, paths, alternative paths that your code can take to accomplish various things. So you can have multiple criteria within some within your function or your or your module or your subroutine for various purposes. So let me start by giving you a picture of what I'm talking about. Now this picture is not complete, but it gives you an idea. Basically what's happening here is that we have a criteria at the top. So if our score, and so in this particular example, we're talking about you know an IL score, a score on an English proficiency test or a ranking placement test, whatever you would like to call it. If our score is greater than nine, as an example, let's see here, move up a little bit greater than nine as an example. If it's greater than nine, you go over here and the level is going to be considered expert. If the score is not greater than nine, you go down and then you check the second criteria. It's a score eight or greater, all right? Now the reason we're, we're ignoring nine is because we already have the eight here. And so again, if the score is, is uh, greater than eight, well then we go over here to true and then it marks off the level as good. And then we go down and this, con this continues, et cetera, all the way down, of course, to a score of zero. And so what's happening here is that what Excel VBA does is that it checks the first criteria. If the score is nine or higher, hey, they're an expert. If not, it goes down to here. If the score is eight or higher, okay, well, we go over here. If not, we go down and down and down. And this allows you to check multiple criteria within a function or within a subroutine, whatever tool you're using, um, in one, you know, in one, you know, code or one piece of modular programming, if you will. So that's kind of how this works in theory. Let's take a look at this in actual practice by going over to Microsoft Excel. So I'm going over here to Excel. And so here's the context of our situation that we're facing. We have these various English proficiency scores. You know, we have the, the student's name, their score, and we want to assign a level. Now again, the example that I'm showing you, there's way more than one way to do this. But for our purposes, we're just going to assign a, a level based on their score using uh, the developer for VBA. Of course, this is not the only way to do this. I need to acknowledge that. So now we go over to Excel VBA. I'm inside here. And I need to set up my function. So I'm gonna say function level that's the name of the function. And then the argument, it will take a score as a double and the whole output will be as a string. And so then we use our, we start creating our if then statement. If score is greater than or equal to nine, then this is what we do. I'll just put a little tab in there for, to make it clear. We say level is equal to expert. And this works its way down, as you can probably tell. Now here's all the code typed up. We kind of skipped that to save you some time. And so you can see how it kind of keeps repeating itself here. It's, it's not that deep. So we start with our if score is greater than or, or equal to nine, then we assign the level of expert. So the output for the function will be expert. Now, if the score is not greater than or equal to nine, we go to our first else if. And so here you can see, well, if my score is greater than or equal to eight, then assign the level of very good. Now, again, if our score does not meet this criteria, then what happens is, is that VBA goes down to the next criteria. Else if, if the score is greater than or equal to seven, then assign the level good. Again, if the number we give this does not meet this criteria, we continue going down and down all the way until we have to type in in the if then, in the if function, if you will, in the if then statements, and then in the function. So that's how this works. And so you can see here we have multiple criteria that we're able to input into this one piece of, of code, if you will. Now let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm inside Microsoft the Excel, the worksheet now, and I have the scores here. They're all right here. And all I gotta do now is Press equal, the name of my function, parentheses, click on the score for this first person, press enter, you can see I got a good. 
and then if I click and drag down, you can see that all the levels have been assigned based on the number that is in column E. And if I change this, let's say I change Bob's score to eight, you can see it automatically updates. I change it to two, you can see it goes down, change it to one, you can see it goes to non-user, zero, you can see it gets the error because zero was not in the function, but you get the idea. 44 also won't work. Yeah, it is because it's greater, it's expert. And so this is what we're able to do with a few lines of code. So going back here to uh, VBA developer, um, this is what we were able to achieve here. We set up our criteria, we went through all the different else if statements when necessary, and then we assigned the appropriate level based on the actual score. That's how it works. So let me see if I can summarize what we talked about and then conclude this video. So in this video, what we talked about was how to set multiple criteria or multiple pathways within a group of if then statements. And so the new tool that we're learning in this particular video was the use of the else if. Else if, as you can see right here, is in response to when you have multiple criteria that you want your function or your subroutine to check. And so based on this, it'll keep going else if this, else if that, else if that, until it exits at the bottom based on whatever criteria you set up. And so by using these tools, we were able to identify the appropriate English level of somebody based on their proficiency exam score in this particular example. So my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you so much for watching and take care.